Hi, I'm Nick Tidnam, past president of the Royal Society of British Artists. Having trained at Camberwell, having a very traditional approach to uh, painting, which I maintained for a long time, and worked through a sort of post-impressionist type imaging, the things early on were very figurative, very out front, very uh, highly detailed in some cases, but slowly over the years I no longer work to illustrate and so I'm no longer trying to solve other people's visual problems. You know, they're purely my own visual problems I'm trying to solve. My passion for gardening uh, started with my grandmother. She was a fantastic gardener and she would sow flowers and she would tend the, the beds and I would find caterpillars crawling over various plants and, and this gave me a great love of nature and what nature was about. And so, uh, Ruth and I, my wife, uh, we ended up with a small garden in Gillingham, first of all, then we moved to Rochester, and we have a much bigger garden. She is passionate about flowers, and I tend to look after the veg plot. So, gardening is important to me. So I thought, well, I, I really need to sort of take a, a leaf out of the uh, examples of people like Bonnard and Matisse, where they referred to nature and used nature, and they, it was a starting point. So I thought I would cut a hundred sheets of paper and document bits of the garden, but, but in a painterly way, not, not a, in a botanical way. Not working with one material, working with multi-materials, and not to throw away any of the pieces of paper. So good, bad or indifferent, they are there as statements of my intention of looking. And so from pen and ink, uh, watercolour, oil pastel, pastel, coloured pencils, ordinary pencils, looking at everything, but not, as I say, in a botanical way, but just for the impact of colour, the impact of texture, surface, uh, shadow. The other uh, part of this sort of discovery, if you like, or intensive looking, I don't draw for hours. They're, they're very quick studies. They're studies done within minutes rather than hours. So I want to get that sort of immediacy, that interaction with the space, with the light, that is important. One morning I, I started drawing the rose bush and what was interesting, the, the rose petals were falling and I thought, wow, this is quite an interesting aspect of this, this thing of green but then tumbling red shapes coming down. And I thought this could lead to all sorts of interesting thoughts for painting and how I might paint. And then I gathered some of the rose petals, put some glue on a sheet of paper and just allowed them to fall in the way that they were falling from the bush. Allowed them to dry and then worked over the top with ink and uh, it, it seemed to work. Um, another time I was setting up to draw this really entangled uh, group of uh, leaves and, 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 and twigs coming through and a shadow flowed across the, the, the page. So I picked up a blue crayon that was in the box and drew that fluid shape across and then continued with the black pen and ink drawing. So you have the two images coming together, one being cast as a shadow and the other being the drawing that I intended to do. So what I'm hoping uh, in, in doing this project is to say to people, look at your space, look at where you are, discover what makes you tick, you know, um, it needn't be great big things. I often find it's the very simple things that suddenly reveal themselves and offer a bit of poetry 
and offer a bit of visual excitement. You don't have to climb the mountain. You don't have to swim in a, in a, in a lagoon to discover it. Very simple everyday things in your garden, walking down the street, shadows falling across a building, uh, a cluster of flowers absolutely rip-roaring across your, your retina. This is what it's about. This is a journey of exploration. But I do hope, you know, if, if, if you get anything from just looking at this, that it might just uh, say to you, well, yeah, I can just pick up a pen, I can just pick up a pencil, I can take it for a little journey and record something.